Hey guys, how is it going? It's your homeboy. It's your home skillet. It's Samuel Snaps. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys today. This is going to be episode two of my Road to Second Lieutenant season one. Um, and this is what I have so far on episode two. Finally got out of Jackson. Thank you, Jesus Farkle Jiggle. Uh, it, it, Jackson was quite the journey. Uh, you know, you would think it'd be easy, but there's a ton of hackers. It's a pain in the ass. Then you'd say, well, why don't you go to golf? Well, I could play a couple games in golf, but there wasn't always people there, and uh, just was not a very uh, steady way of ranking up, so it took me quite a while to rank up. It was not very enjoyable, so a few days later, this is what I'm at. These are my statistics. I'm doing pretty good. Um, pretty good on GP. Pretty, pretty, pretty good on GP, and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what happened. Uh, as you guys know, when you rank up at first, uh, you know, at the beginning of the game, you rank up quite a bit. You probably get, I think, around 15, maybe 20k with all those ranks, maybe. Um, and then the rest of it was from doing uh, daily jobs, which I've done most of today, as you can see. Um, I just acquired um, this gun, which I'm not going to use. I'm, I don't like the CVI Falcon. Um, I got the weapon patch kit. I have a renewal kit. Um, and I think I may have gotten something else. I'm not sure, but it'll... I don't think I got anything else, but, uh, yeah, so I got the weapon patch kit and the, um, the, what's it called, weapon renewal kit from the, uh, daily jobs, um, and I got a mist in the other day, uh, from a daily job, and I got a, uh, where is it, MP5 Ross and Cherry on. I could sell it back and get, uh, 1k, but I think I'll hold it. Uh, you see, I'm doing pretty good on GP right now, um, they recently just ended the permanent, uh, AK-47 sale. Uh, for GP, it was 70000 so that's kind of unfortunate, but Christmas is almost coming up. It is currently December 5th as I am making this video, so um, I think, uh, well, you guys are probably watching this on the 6th, but uh, yeah, so Christmas is almost coming up. Um, they may have some perm GP sales. Now, the only issue I'm having is I'm not sure if they're going to be 100 KGP or 70 KGP because they've kind of been going back and forth with the guns. Um, most of the time, the, the permanent guns that usually sells the M4A1, the G3, the L9, um, they've sold and the AK. They sold the K2. They sold some other stuff, but mainly it's the AK, G3, L9, and M4A1. Um, they kind of change it between 100K and uh, 70K. So the way in which I'm going to do this is by completing these bad boys, these daily mm -hmm. jobs. Uh, what you guys want to do is, I believe the first job every day they have like. Um, uh, they have three choices, you know, they have the blue one where you get like EXP passes, GP passes, stuff like that. They have a green one where you can get guns and then they have a red one where, um, you can get, uh, GP and I think maybe some in X things like a megaphone or something, but a lot of time it's GP. So I always recommend getting a red one. I've got about three and five K for both days I've been playing. Um, so it's been, uh, it's been pretty successful so far. Uh, that's uh, how I've basically been able to get up to this, uh, 54 K. Um, see, you do not need to have NX to play and or be good at this game um i currently have a loadout once i get one perm gp gun i'm going to probably buy a long term for the g3060 and the l9 because for those of you guys that don't know long term gp uh guns if you buy them for 90 days they're cheaper than if you bought them for one day like every day even though most of them you can't buy for one day but it's cheaper the longer you buy them like anything in life or most of the time in life it's about quantity you know if you buy a hundred coffee mugs it's gonna the they'll sell them for five cents each but if you buy 50 of them they'll sell them for 10 cents each you know that's basically how it works with common arms it's how you run the economy here um so yes you do not need nx to be good at this game you just need to be patient with your money and save your money and it's very important uh, i'm coming around a lucky time it's the kind of the holiday season so uh, i expect them to have a gp perm sale they may not uh you know i may be unlucky but what i'm not going to do is if they don't sell a gp gun for perm is just go and just spend it all on 90 day guns immediately um because with my luck you know they'll probably end up um releasing a perm gun right after i do that like the day after which uh would be unfortunate so yeah, uh, for those of you that don't know, my alt account, Daredox, which is actually now uh, my friend's. Uh, so yeah, I gave my friend that account. But uh, yeah, I had three GP perms on that uh, account. But I kind of came in at a good time when I made that account. It was like three times EXP or two times EXP, something like that. Um, we had the five-shot event where you got those guns. And basically, this is another tip too, guys. If the five-shot event ever comes back around, sell back your guns. If you're going GP only, sell back your guns. You will make a ton of money and the way i think about it is all right 
You may get a good gun from the five shot, like an epic or a rare or something, but I would not recommend using it. And this is how I think about it. You may have that good gun for what, a week, maybe a month if you got lucky, if you got a really nice gun, but it goes away after that. You know, you may do good with that gun for that short period of time and you may like it, but uh, as I'll say again, this is a no NX series. This is all GP. So you can sell those guns and eventually you can save up to get a permanent GP gun, which I'd rather take a permanent GP gun over a 30 day NX gun any day that just any day. So we're going to hop into a game real quick and uh, I will see you there. Alrighty, so I found an oil rig elimination. Uh, oh, just started too. Uh, I actually did an F5 at the beginning, so I'm a little bit behind. Couldn't get that first kill like like I usually do, but you know, it's all good. Missed the grenade. That's not a good sign. Uh, oh! I just got laid. Get him, guy. Come on. Come on, teammate. Oh no, he's gonna get him. This isn't good, guys. This just isn't Round good. Alright, this guy's still over there. I need to pick him off. Oh fuck, is he above? Did I hear him? Sir, I'm hearing stuff, bro. No, I'm just hearing stuff. I swore I heard someone walking. Could have been my teammate, but uh, you know, gotta assess the situation. I'll just not want to play the peak game. Let's go, buddy. Hopefully he doesn't see me through the wall. Alright, he wants to. Oh god, I have that. Oh god. Hopefully, am I on top of a table? Nope, I'm looking on my mini-map. Yeah, I have that glitch where my screen goes black when I'm in fire now. So I basically have to wait till my body, you know, stops going on fire. If that fire continues, I'm going to have to quit this game. I need to find a way to fix this. Nope, we're getting our sniper out. We're doing what I do best. Oh! 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 Are you serious? Oh! No, I choked! Oh, I'm being called hacker in chat. I'm watching chat. Is a good okay so I got kicked from the game um it was about apparently shut off my fraps about 15 or 20 seconds afterwards um yeah so I got kicked that's always fun I was on a pretty nice roll there too people don't know skill when they can see it but it's understandable there are a ton of hackers in this game so I don't blame them for thinking I was hacking just because I whooped their ass it's whatever beat high levels any day doesn't matter if they're GOAs. That that it's it's, it's still frustrating. It still frustrates me though. I can't uh, can't finish a game doing good. I was on a I was on a roll too. Uh, good momentum. Good momentum. No fuck Quebec people. Fuck them. All right. They really a lot of them are hackers. Um. Hmm. This looks interesting. Let me get kicked from these guys too. It's always funny because it's always the players that are the highest level and always usually on the top tier of combat arms that are the ones that move the most. I always find that kind of funny and someone's above me. No, nope, apparently not. I always find that kind of funny though. It's always the top tier players are the ones that rage and kick. Uh, let's see here. I'm not super good at this map. There's a lot of corners here, so there's a lot of... Oh, and he was camping down there. I'm See? Told you. Told you. Dude, my quick scoping is on right now. I told you that guy would be Round camping down start. there. Alright, yeah. This is going to be unfortunate. I'm going I'm to take a shotgun to a head probably sometime this game. Fuck down. Guy is down here. He 
you won't expect this. I'm being super, super campy right now. He'll be in a corner. 20 bucks. I'm genuinely surprised. The guy with the shotgun obviously doesn't know how to play this too well. You normally see them playing hugging walls and stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I haven't played CA in forever, guys. You know I never do this. It's just... I, I just... I amaze myself, guys. You never saw that coming, did you? Alright, 5 and 1. We're doing good here, guys. What the fuck? Alright, and then Mr. Shotgunny. Not really much I could have done there. Could have pre-scoped, but then again, I only saw, like, his freaking weenus, a.k.a. his elbow. So that was a bit hard to see. Yeah, hopefully this uh, episode is entertaining you guys. This is this is entertaining me playing. This is a lot more fun than I've had in the past couple days and Jackson being uh, being OK and stuff. So yeah, this is a lot more fun. Well, watch me hit the shot. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna jump backwards. Oh fuck! I should probably get on here first. I'm gonna hit a fade away. You guys watch this. Fuck! I didn't jump. Fuck, I keep falling back. Oh man, if I hit that, that would have been dirty. Now I'm sounding like bad grills for no reason. I, oh, what are you doing back there, boo? Aw. He wanted a friend. Thank you. Thank, see, see, someone can actually thank, you know, tell me nice shot instead of hack for once. It's always nice to know. And that's how you beat a shotgun right there. A lot of people seem to... It always seems to be... Here's a tip, guys. And this only seems to be with shotguns. Like, people seem to, like... When people are shooting out with a shotgun... It, it's, like, mostly shotguns. They usually seem to, like, hesitate and get all, like, nervous and shit. Like, I can kind of understand, I guess, because it's kind of like... You're kind of like, oh, man, I gotta do something. But when people do that, then they start spraying, and then... That's when you lose the battle. You cannot hesitate. Combat Arms is a game where you cannot hesitate. You will die. Oh. This counts a double bear on me. I'm gonna peek the shit out of him. Sit down. This guy gonna come over here? But uh yeah, you cannot hesitate. Oh. oh man, where he man, he's like Superman, he's just flying down. But yeah, you it's mostly shotguns and snipers. People hesitate when they see that. Don't hesitate. You have a greater chance of winning if you if you don't hesitate. And you guys are probably like, well duh. But trust me, seriously, next time you see, like, just get that mindset. Like, don't wins. even think about what gun they have. Just perform like you normally would, and I guarantee you, you'll win a lot more. That's a tip. That's kind of how it was, like, when I was making those nice snipes in that oil rig. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys for dropping in for the second episode of my Road to the Second Lieutenant series. Um, so stay tuned for next time. Uh, let me know if the audio sounds better, but uh, until next time, much love. Peace out.